Okay, folks. Hi there. This is Kim Willis, and uh, I've got a little um, review video for you today. And it's uh, it's been made possible because of the response that I've had from a number of uh, members in the Simple Online Success Group. Okay, and uh, I'm calling this uh, well the the post that I put up was called the Wall of the Day post, and uh, well, it was alluding to the, the wall of the day post that, uh, that I, I will be um, you know, publishing soon. And basically what I said was that who would like to offer their Facebook wall for review? Why is this important? Well, if you're using Facebook as your social media marketing hub, it's very important because you want to convey the impression to people that you are you have authority that you're a nice person you're trustworthy satisfies the three basically basic requirements of marketing no like and trust okay so you want them to like you you want them to know you but they you also want them to trust you and that's where the authority part of it comes in so when i look i'm going to select the first uh, three or four um, that have volunteered and we're going to have a quick look now I have not looked at these walls uh, pre well I, I have looked at a couple actually I've looked at the first three so I'm going to focus on Victoria Maeve and uh, Debbie and if I get time depends on how long this video goes it'll be Luke will be the next will, will be included if, if I don't get time well we'll do it with the first three and when I Get some other time I'll, I'll uh, record a, a, another video with uh, the next three or something like that okay but we'll see how it uh, see how it pans out now uh, so yeah so I'll be looking at those three elements there no like and trust is this a sort of uh, wall that uh, people are going to like or you, where you're creating um, the, 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 the persona of likability um, is it the sort of wall that people will get to know you quickly and above all is it the sort of wall that conveys the right messages in terms of trust building and that's all about authority okay so I'm I might be a little bit hard on uh, one or two I don't know I haven't the first three I've looked at their walls but it's not recent okay so I, I um, you know we're gonna we're gonna rectify that today now before I get started, if you hear some noise, like sounds like chickens and all that sort of stuff, I'm here in Siem Reap, Cambodia. I'm living in an apartment, but the apartment is is <laughs> abuts a um, a house, and they've got chickens. As, as is very common here in Cambodia, even in the cities, um, lots of chickens, lots of dogs, and and so on. Um, you know, Siem Reap is. Uh, is the the tourist small it's a small touristy city it's uh, a lot of tourists come through here in fact over two million a year and uh, the reason why they come um, well the main reason why they come is to uh, in visit the ruins incredible ruins of Angkor Wat which is nearby okay so Siem Reap has uh, become a tourist town as a result because uh, when people have stopped looking at the ruins and doing those uh, those those tours uh, they come into Siem Reap for a bit of nightlife and there's certainly plenty of that. It's a good place to come to, it is. The, the uh, local Khmer people, or Cambodian people, or I call them Khmers because that's their, their heritage, uh, they, uh, they're a super friendly lot. Um, you'll love them. And plenty of food options and all the rest. Now, let's, uh, so, if you hear a bit of that background noise, don't worry about it. I haven't closed the windows and put the aircon on because it's such a beautiful day today. It's not too hot. There's a nice breeze coming through the windows, so I thought, the heck with it, I'm going to leave the windows open. Now, let's look at Victoria. Okay. Victoria Wallace. The photograph. Uh... Okay, well, the only thing I'd say there is, I, I think this is a family shot, the only thing I would say there is that the newbie visiting wouldn't know which one was Victoria. But if they scroll down, they'll see, they'll see Victoria's image, okay. Um, there's some more of Victoria, that's her there. Uh, but 
you know, most people change their profiles, so she might have just put that one up because it had sentimental value, and um, she might change it to something else in the future. And that's, that's it. But um, I tend not to do that because I want people to see my face. Intro, coaching people and business owners how to build up their online business through training and education. That sounds pretty good to me. Don't need to say much more than that, if anything. Uh, she's got, click here to visit my business page at Victoria Wallace. Okay, well she's got a Facebook business page. By the way, you don't need a Facebook business page. If you, particularly if you're not going to be doing, well, if you're not going to be doing any advertising, you probably probably don't need one, but if, you, if your intention is to spend money on Facebook ads, well, you will need one. Simple as that. She's the CEO of the VBI Marketing Solo, okay, so she, she sells solo ads. She's also an affiliate market. I know this because I know Victoria. And uh, she, she's an affiliate marketer. She, she sells, she promotes different offers, big ticket programs and mid ticket uh, programs, etc. Uh, she's been followed by 721 people. That's pretty good. Pretty good. And she's got plenty of friends. Okay. Uh, and, well, 221 of her friends are mutual. All right. So they're, they're friends of mine as well. Now, if we click on this, I'll just show you this little thing. These are my mutual friends. 221. Now, I think uh, she has adjusted her settings so that we can't see who the rest of her friends are. Uh, she, they're only letting me see the, my mutual friends. If you don't have any mutual friends uh, with uh, Victoria, I think you'll find that you won't see any of her friends at all. Okay, let's just go back here to the timeline. Oh, before I do that, I'll just click the About. Okay, she's completed all of that. Details about Victoria. Okay. Um, one little thing that I do, uh, that I suggest is that uh, in this section here, details about you, you can um, use the space. It's free space. It's an opportunity to strike your stuff without being pitchy and you know spraying links all over the place. But uh, you, you can do that. I've, there are different ways of doing it. You could just uh, write something, a paragraph worth of text, or you could do what I did and create a bit of a narrative. So if you want to check out mine, just go to, you know, go to my wall and have a look at it. Mine's more whimsical, it's a little bit tongue in cheek, uh, but it also tells, gives people an idea as to what, what I'm on about. So I think that would be a good thing to do. Victoria is an Australian. She's currently living in the state of Queensland, which is my home state. All right, let's have a look at the, uh, the news feed here. Okay, she's got a promotional post here at the top. This is a text-based uh, promotional post. The kind of thing that I like to do with, on my wall. That's good. I'll like that. And I'll make a comment. She's promoting the SOS group. Okay, she's not promoting an, an affiliate offer. She does do that, I think, at other times. Uh, she's done a nice thing here, and she shared Mary Triggs's post. So she's got in, she's getting engagement. Uh, four steps to sponsor eighty percent. Okay, she shared someone else's post. Uh, this is by uh, a guy called Vitaly 
Dubin, Dubinin, I think that's how he says his name. He's in uh, a thing called My Lead System Pro. You may well have heard of My Lead System Pro, and I believe Victoria is an affiliate for My Lead System Pro. So this is an, this is a text-based uh, promotional post. So it leads to a, a blog post, but uh, she is linked to that blog post. I like that one. Dream big and do whatever you need to do to make your dream, that dream a reality. Uh, okay, I'll just leave a quick quote. The magic of thinking big. So I want you to get into the habit of doing this kind of thing. It will come back to you, trust me. It will come back to you. Maybe not today, but it will come back to you if you do it every day commenting on three people's walls, three walls a day, minimum. Five tips for making more sales. Okay, this is, uh, this is another value-based ba uh, piece of content. This goes to Victoria's blog, victoriawallace.net. Five tips for making more sales. Good stuff. If this blog, in this blog post, I wanted to cover my five top tips for making more sales online. First off, though, you must understand that selling is not about selling. It's about helping people and solving their problems. Excellent. I'll look at it later, but I know it'll be it'll be a good post. She does good work. Oops, the content can't be displayed. Try again. Usually it goes through. That's it. Okay. Uh, she's got authority content here. She's got blog posts. So this is a this is pretty good. This is pretty good. Oh, okay. I did see this one some on my news feed. Uh, the only question I have about all of these hashtags is that. It does annoy people, and um, it, it kind of detracts from the core thing that you wanted to say. That, that's my feeling about. It. I mean, it's not set in stone, but that's my feeling, and I believe other people have the same. Well, some other people at least have the same feeling. Um, it may not be a big issue, but it's just something that, um, well, for some people, it's it's a bit off-putting. It can be a bit off-putting. But uh, look, I give this one the uh, the thumbs up. She's got a good balance. She's got some social posts here as well. So um, congratulations. Congratulations, Victoria. You get one of the yays for the day. <laughs> okay, now let me go back to the group and we'll check out the next one. Here we go. Uh, yeah, well, this is the only pro. I really should add, open up another. Another Facebook page here. Because now I've got to go and find my original post. Damn it. Um, okay, I'll see. Uh, when I do find it, I will bump it up. And I'll try to. Uh, so, December the 8th. It was three days ago. I'm getting close. Oh, maybe I passed it. Did you see it? Because <laughs> I didn't. Oh, okay, it's just after this one. Ugh, I hate that thing. Anyway. Um, there it is. Okay, I just... Type in bump, and that should move it up a bit for next time when I come back. Okay, so who's the second one? The second one is Maeve Clayton. I've had a, a bit of a chat to Maeve, and uh, she's, I think she's in Western Australia. She's, that's right, she's in Perth in Western Australia. She's originally from South Africa. <laughs> um, okay, all right, well, let's, we'll do the same thing. Photo. 
Okay, it's good, good, uh, good picture there. Obviously, what sort of business she's in? She's in the nutrition business, I believe. It's Herbal Life. Okay, there's two schools of thought about this. Uh, one school says, hey, you put it up there and you just let everybody know that you're in X, Y, Z or Z company. The other is, is uh, you say, well, no, you, I'm, I'm building my brand. I'm not building X, Y, Z's brand. I'm building my brand, so uh, I'm not going to plaster my company's name all over the place. I tend to take the second approach. I'm not saying that the first approach doesn't have merit. But uh, the only thing I, I would say is that as soon as people see that name, they'll do a Google search or they'll prejudge it if they don't. They tend to prejudge it if they don't already know what it is, if if they already know what it is. And um, but uh, this is very much a product-focused, uh, uh, you know, uh, um, pitch. Use that word, product-focused pitch. When we well, MLM is really about building teams. And uh, it's, it's more about recruitment than anything, and uh, all that product focus uh, may—I don't know—it it may make it more difficult to build a team because uh, when you're recruiting, you, you're putting your business person's hat on, and they don't necessarily want to know about the product uh, first off. They they will want to find out about it, but you know, uh, they they really want to learn more about the opportunity. To change their own lives, but um, that's just, you know, that's just a, a kind of philosophy that I have. Okay, now let's. Uh, all right, we'll, we'll just. I'll just have a look at the about page. So I'll just do a duplicate. So, of uh, details about May. May. Okay, she's filled that in. This is great. I joined, Her joined Herbalife as an independent distributor and wellness coach in 2005 and created this page to provide a more personal. Okay, so it's very much branded towards uh, Herbalife and uh, I know she, she does, uh, she makes sales, she, she makes money. Uh, I don't know how much she makes and whether she's really built a big team, but um, certainly she's getting, you know, I know she is getting product sales happening, so that's, that's a good thing. But um, if you wanted to build a, a big network, uh, a, another approach may be necessary. But anyway, uh, th this, um, uh, I just want to move on and just keep going because we're looking for no like and trust here. So uh, she's got a lot of, she's got a personal, uh, she's got a promotional post here. Um, wow, so glad we now have a daily moisturizer with SPF 30. Your makeup is not enough. Um, I'm not sure how well these kind of uh, posts work. Uh, perhaps I should ask her. But um, anyway, it's very much product focus, as I said. She's got a nice personal development post here. That's great. Give it a like. Dream it. Wish it. Do it. Yeah. Okay. Starts with a dream. That's all you need to do when you're commenting under the pe on other people's walls. Something simple like that. You can go into more detail if the post um, stimulates that kind of a reaction. But uh, I could do that. I could write a paragraph of text here, but just to do it nice and quick for the video. That's fine. That's fine. It starts with the dream. Thanks. Sometimes it's nice to thank the person for putting in the effort to come up with a great post like that. That content can't be displayed. What the heck? Try again. There it is. Uh, she's got another good one there. Three wise women would have asked directions, arrive on time, or the baby brought practical gifts, clean, clean this day, we made a casserole, and there would be peace on earth. That's good. I uh, I don't think I can make a comment on that. <laughs> I'd have to think about that one, but uh, it's that's a good one. Three wise women. All right, coming on Christmas, of course. If you've got a, if you're very much focused on product sales, why not uh, promote it? If, if it's conducive to pre-Christmas promotion, why not do that? So she's done that. Christmas survival kit, and um, who knows how what uh, you know what what results uh, she's getting from that. But I'll, I'll give it a like. No problem. Now, uh, 
Okay, we'll, we'll just have a look at the friends. We'll go back to the friends thing in a minute. Perfect evening for drinkies on the veranda, on the balcony, on the porch, whatever you want to call it. Hillary's Yacht Club in Perth. That should be very pleasant. That's uh, a nice social post. Pure bliss. I put a smiley face. Don't say I didn't tell you. If someone comes to your front door, okay. I've seen this thing going the rounds. The only problem with this sort of thing is that when you start seeing it on everybody else or a lot of other people's walls, it, it, I think it kind of devalues your wall. You know? but, but anyway, uh, there it is. Give this some thought as we approach 2017 and a new year. You can't start the next chapter in your life. Okay, that's good. That's, uh, that's another good one. I would uh, encourage, I, I, I'm going to encourage Maeve to create a little bit of authority content, text-based content or video content. Both, both work well. Just, you know, it comes back, I guess it comes back to choose your preference or choose your poison, as some people say. Um, some people are very comfortable in front of the camera. Others uh, need to get to that point. They're not something that that uh, that uh, makes them feel too good. But uh, you know, we all start somewhere. And I didn't have uh, great comfort being in front of a camera to start with, but now I find it quite easy. I haven't created a lot of video content recently, but that doesn't mean I don't think it has a lot of value. It does, and uh, certainly over the Christmas uh, period, I, I will be back in the saddle creating more video. Uh, the other option is text-based content, and what she can do is she can go to other people's walls, pick up an idea, and uh, take it as her own. She can share other people's content. That's another thing that she should do. She's not doing that. Uh, well, she may, but I, I'd have to scroll down even further. doesn't appear to be doing it, certainly in recent times. Uh, but then also take an idea from somebody else's wall and rewrite it. Rewrite it so that it's 80% unique to you. So basically, you're taking the idea. There's no patent or copyright on ideas, and uh, you can take that idea and create a paragraph of text. It doesn't take long. It's not hard to create a paragraph of text, or two paragraphs of text. It doesn't take long, uh, particularly once you've done it for a little while. But even initially, it doesn't take long. A paragraph of text is only about 30 words or something. It's nothing. So start to create a bit of authority content. That's, that's the advice I'm going to be giving Maeve today. But she's definitely heading in the right direction. Oh, just before I do, do that, uh, we're just going to have a look at the friends here. Oh, there's 14 mutual friends. And uh, once again, she's blocked off access to her friends. Okay. And uh, sometimes I'll do things like, I'll just say thanks for, just random. If it's a new friend, I'll say it. Uh, but other times, if I just happen to be there, sometimes I'll say it. M-A-V-E, just a nice thing to say. And it creates more life on the wall. And uh, just uh, helps to give her a little bit more of a boost. It's a nice thing to do. You see, we need to have... We need to have a generous spirit. A generosity of spirit is important here. And ultimately, it will come back to you. It may not come back from the person that you're doing it for. It may come back from somebody else. It may come from unexpected quarters. It doesn't matter. It's not quid pro quo. It's not, if I do this for you, I expect you to do it for me. No. Uh, it's, I'm going to do it anyway because I want to do it. And if it comes back to me uh, in the future, great. And if it comes back from other sources, who cares? It doesn't matter. It doesn't have to come back from the person that you're doing it for. Okay? You've got to let go of all that kind of thinking. So uh, good on you, Maeve. You're definitely heading in the right direction. But uh, maybe uh, think about a few of those little tips that I, or points that I, I made. Now, hopefully this post has been boosted because of the little word that I added in the comment there. Is it? Top, top, top.
Hey, there it is. Perfect. Right at the top. Okay, we'll just do one more. Not gonna, we're not going to be able to do the four. And this is Debbie. I've recently come to know Debbie. Very nice lady. She's uh, also based in Western Australia. And uh, okay, we've got a problem here. The first thing is there's nothing in the left hand side about Debbie. Okay, we need to see a bit of a summary of what you're doing, Debbie. Okay, so you'll need to uh, enable that. Photo, really nice photo, that's a great photo. Uh, what have we got here is the, the cover photo. I'm not sure what that is, but maybe I'm looking at it wrong. <laughs> Doesn't matter, but anyway, her photo looks pretty good. She's got an open wall, as did the two previous people, an open wall, so that means that I can write something nice on Debbie's wall. Great to have you, I didn't do it for Victoria, did I? <laughs> I'll do that tomorrow. Um, Debbie. Okay, so I'm just giving, sharing a bit of love. That's all you need to do. Get into the habit of doing it. And uh, you'll feel good about yourself. Now, let's have a look at some of her content. She's uh, got this here. I think this is... this is uh, Okay, this is a little... Kind of typo, grammar thing. I think this goes... It should be... This shouldn't be a news... I think this goes for most people, but don't let a failure get in the way for the rest of your life. Okay, it's not the future that you're afraid of, it's repeating the past that makes you... Oh, that's a beautiful quote, I love that. Uh, yes, and other people have loved it as well, so uh, let me give it some love. Give it some of my own love. Um, what can I say there? Create a space for the good you desire. First step is to let go of the past. Thanks so much, Debbie. Let's see what else she's got goes for the most expensive item in the living room. Oh, oh dear. I, I haven't been, I've been traveling for three years as a digital nomad, okay? And uh, somebody has put a post up on her wall. See, this is what happens when you've got an open wall. You allow other people to post. Sure, you'll get a little bit of spam from time to time, but you can handle that. It's no big deal. You can remove it. There's no point getting into an angry tiz about it. Just remove it and just move on. And, and uh, unfriend that person who did it to you. But when you have a closed wall, you don't get this sort of thing happening. And this is a beautiful little gesture. And... Uh, goes for the most expensive uh, the re uh, so I was saying I, I've been uh, traveling for three years and one of the things just it's little things that you miss about your home country isn't it and uh, one of the little things that I miss is the the bird life the wildlife in general but the the bird life and I love magpies this is a magpie I'm just crazy about them always love magpies even if they do pick you on the head during the breeding season when you pass near one of their uh, tree, well, a tree that they're you know, nesting in. But uh, I love these birds. They are magnificent. I miss their, I, I miss waking up to their calls in the morning and uh, late afternoon uh, calls as well. It's yeah, beautiful. So that's a nice thing to do. That's a nice gesture from Astrid. Okay. Uh, I'll, I'll come back and make a comment. But I'll, I'll just see what else we've got here. So. I'll, I better give it a like first. <laughs> now, in fact, I might share this one. So, get into the habit of sharing as well. So, 
Um, what do I say? There it is. And I will tag Debbie. I should tag the other lady, but I, anyway, I'm, I may not be able to do that. Right. Okay, back to it. Let's see what else we got. Hard time of the year for a lot of folks. Suicide hotline. Okay, that's uh, that's a nice thing, a nice gesture. I did that myself. Um, some people do get real depressed over Christmas, okay? People who are alone, maybe away from their family and so on. Uh, so I certainly have had that happen to me after my wife died. And, uh, you know, last Christmas I, I, I wasn't, wasn't, my wife wasn't with me anymore and my kids were not uh, with me as well. So it was, it was difficult. Uh, this Christmas my sons are <laughs> going to be with me, which is great. Now, uh, what else have we got? If you're in business, use your Facebook wall to build your own. Ah, this is good. She's got some authority content. Okay, this is great. Okay, and she... Uh, okay, so she's borrowed content from Jim Marsh, who's also in the SOS group. And uh, this is a good piece of content from Jim. But the fact is that she has... She's featured it on her wall. And uh, perhaps next time, uh, so she's uh, so she's featured it. So that's great. Perhaps next time she could create a version of this post and take full ownership of it. Okay. So that's just a thought there, but it's a great post. Okay. Oh, this is this. See, this is the same thing coming through again. This happened to a friend of mine. This there was on the other two walls that we looked at as well. I think, or the last one. And I think the one before Victoria's. On it. Uh, I've I've already done something. I just put a smiley face uh, there. The value and idea lies in the using of it. Thomas Edison. I have always found this to be true. Building a bank balance of, or following a lead. I must believe in the value. Okay, so she's she's. She's added the, uh, she's put the, the, the quote in from Thomas Edison, a famous quote. Uh, just a few little details there. The inverted commas need to be at the front of the as well. Uh, I'm not super pedantic, but I am a little bit of a stickler about some of these things. Um, another little point, leave a space between that line there and the one under it. So it, it clearly... Okay, now I'm... Con actually, I'm confused. She's got click to tweet there. That needs to be removed. That needs to be removed. So it's very clear that this is a quote from this guy, Thomas Edison, General Electric co-founder. So we need inverters, inverted commas there so we know exactly what the quote is. No confusion. And then she needs to leave a space between the quote and her comment. Okay? Now, the comment could go above the quote or it could go below the way she's done it here, but she does need to leave a space. So, but it's a good quote. The value of an idea lies in the, in the using of it. So what she's talking about there is implementation is all, isn't it? It is. Too many people are into inertia mode. <laughs> they need to be in action mode. That's where the money is. She's got some nice uh, social content there. That's great. Uh, nice little photo there. 
Christmas shopping, more social content, yes. Family. Excellent. Debbie is, is very new to internet marketing, so I think she's, she's, she's doing pretty well. She's doing pretty well. A little bit of fine tuning there, but she's, she's getting some authority content up, some text based content. Um, let's have a look at her friends. Now she is open here with her friends because we can click on the mutual, but we can also click on her friends so we can see all of her friends. Okay? Not just the mutual friends. There. All right. Look at this one. There's a there's a friend who doesn't hasn't got a photo on their profile. As a general rule, I will not friend somebody who don't who, who doesn't have a photo. And I, I guess we could lead into another topic is on targeting. Who should we be adding as friends if we're wanting to build a business? So, uh, but I'll hold that over. I'll resist the temptation to do that today. All right, so Debbie, you're a newbie. You're really heading in the right direction. And look at the engagement. Already she's getting good engagement. And she's only, she's only got, as I said, 267 friends. So by the time she's got 500 friends or 1,000, she's, uh, she's going to be doing great. Yeah. All right, well, look, I think you get a bit of an idea here. I hope that this has helped each of the people that I've created this little review for, but importantly, I hope it helps you. I really do. Okay, this is Kim Willis. Bye for now.